One practice today, yesterday was a two-a-day. Um, this practice was a little bit longer. Um, teaching more towards the start of it, and then just a lot of playing, a lot of getting up and down, good scrimmage uh, sessions, so it was really good. How do you sick, make a summer league practice? Is it more about getting them guys up and down, or how much do you want to balance the teaching aspect? It's both, really. Um, like I said yesterday, um, got to teach the guys the language, spacing, offensively, defensively, um, and then, once you put it in, they got to play and play so that they get comfortable with playing out of the spots and the actions that we put them, ask them to play out of. Um, so it's a little bit of both, um, but uh, they did a really good job of listening um, and learning with their minds and then uh, applying it with their bodies out there. What did you start about uh, Carlos so far? Uh, it's been really good, setting screens, diving to the front of the rim. Uh, you can shoot it better than most people. Um, give him credit for, quite frankly, as a big. Um, but uh, he's done a really, really good job of uh, providing energy, setting hard screens, and diving to the front of the rim, and rebounding the basketball, doing all those things we're asking of him. That's what we heard yesterday, that uh, you know, maybe there is a, a little shooting ability there. He's, uh, he's not hesitant to, to let it fly. Yeah, yeah. So in a situation, we were doing um, split cuts. And um, most time in a split, you ask the bigs um, to set the screen for the smalls. And the way you can shoot it, the smalls can set the screen for him. Um, so. You know, we'll see uh, how much it translates <laughs> game time, but um, in practice, it looks good. What's, what's kind of the role you guys have been for Tyson offensively uh, in some of the league? It's yet to be determined right now, so we're just putting in the scrimmages, we're putting him in multiple spots. Obviously, he can be a primary ball handler. Um, he can literally play one through four. You can defend every single position, so he's defending Harper, um, picking him up. Um, on the defensive side, he's uh, been a point guard. With a, um, so he can play really anywhere, and we're going to ask him to. And um, just because, quite frankly, his versatility um, will allow us to be creative with our lineups and, and his um, availability to us, um, putting him in different spots. Obviously, it is only the second practice, but how has Dyson handled some of the terminology and understanding how you guys run things here? He's been fantastic, um, fantastic. Um, just a really high basketball IQ guy. Um, plays at his own speed, um, but which is fast, um, but he always seems to be under control um, and a really good decision maker. So all things that bode well for, for him, for us um, going forward. Has it, you noticed a transition with him trying to slow things down coming from Australia and how they play there? I remember he was talking about that when he first got drafted, the different style of play. Yeah, I, I think the, the year in the G League definitely um, helped change his game in terms of how the NBA play is at, played at a faster pace. And um, he's been doing that for us, you know, whether he's throwing the basketball ahead, he's pushing it, one, two dribbles, getting off of it, playing point five basketball, just playing with pace and force like we want to play. And he's mentioned tweaking some things with his jump shot. How's that coming along? Just get more consistent with his three pointers. Yeah, he's, he's definitely um, working on his, his shot, and it's something um, that he continues to work on. He's, he's been good with his three point shot. Um, obviously, Trey is probably <laughs> one of our best players and shooting really, really, really well. Um, but Dyson has definitely been uh, improving his uh, three-point shot. I got uh, Willie on this a couple days ago, but the roster you guys have, you know, coming into this season, I mean, a lot of just guys who can play multiple positions. Is that as exciting as a staff, uh, you know, being able to do a lot of different things? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, we, we have um, a very versatile lineup and allows us to do different things offensively and defensively. Um, so you can get creative. Um, and really space the floor and play and play fast. You know, we got a lot of guys who can handle the basketball, a lot of guys who can shoot the basketball and create um, scoring opportunities for themselves and for others. Um, so it is exciting to play that way offensively and then defensively um, allows us to switch um, multiple positions. Um, our rotations, we have a lot of length. Um, so you'll have a lot of length on the floor. And we got dogs, we got guys we like to get after it. Um, so, you know, you can have everything in terms of the look, but we've got guys that impose their will um, defensively, so that's really fun. You mentioned yesterday that, that y'all, of course, want to win every game. How do you balance that? It's, with the, it's the old Herm Edwards. He played in <laughs> Herm Edwards. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. With that, how do you balance that with trying to get a look at the rookie players more so than maybe second or third year guys who give you a better chance to win, but you know what they can do? Well, I think that. For our summer league roster, we understand that obviously Najee, 
Trey and Jose are not going to play the duration of the summer league. So there's going to be opportunities for everybody. Um, that being said, obviously the guys that are in our program, we want to take a look at them first and then you know, everybody will get their opportunity to compete and play for minutes and show what they can do, not only to our organization, but to the entire NBA. How much of uh, the system you play in the summer league is reflective of the, what you're going to be doing in the regular season? Good question. Yeah, so um, we want to be consistent. I believe there was a question about our foundation and then building from that. Well, part of that is being consistent. So we want to be consistent with our terminology. We want to be consistent with our offensive and defensive concepts. Um, so the overall majority of the stuff that we do is what we will do um, during the regular season. Um, that being said, there will be opportunities to throw little wrinkles, maybe defensively, um, defensive, maybe a, a different zone or uh, full court pickup or something like that, and then look at some uh, different ATOs to see how those things may may shake out. But the overall majority of what we do is what we're going to do during the regular season. Yeah, so you have to have that foundation so you can build from there. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thank you guys.